on the 10th of every month at 10 o'clock, Jane Alcock is going to be here uh, doing Block of the Month. Uh, she was here at 10, uh, 10 o'clock on the 10th of July. Now, where are we now? Yeah, July. And we did the uh, Nine Patch. Today, we're doing the Friendship Star using Half Square Triangles. So now I need to explain what, how the show works. The first half of the show is doing the basic block of Block of the Month. And Jane will explain how it's all going to work together because she's got a picture in a minute of her. You still got that picture of your finished quilt, yeah. So we'll explain that in a minute. So what we do is I've got the fabric here to make one block of the month. And then I've also got what we had last month, which was the nine patch. Oh, actually, can I borrow your picture? We might use it because I'll explain it. Because I explained to Hannah like this earlier, and then you can go through to it more. Right. In... My, oh, God. Oh. Now, everybody said... You know how I said it where it just faded, faded, faded? Everyone said it went loud then. Anyway, it's good, it's good, it's good. I can hear them now. Right, this will be your finish. This will what if you make every single block of the month of Jane's, this is what it will look like. So today we're doing the Friendship Star there. Last time Jane was in, we did this, which is your nine patch in the corner here. But the fabric we did in the bundle is enough to do all of those nine patches and the sashing in between all of the panels and the cream of the background. So last month was this, and this month is this. So I'll just explain that to you very simply, and then Jane can explain it all in full. So which one would you like to do first, Hannah? Friends, today's block of the month, right? So the thing is, if you want to, you could just come in and get block two, block seven, and block four. You know what I mean, if you want to. So, so this is block number two. And in this block, the Friendship Star, you get the instructions. And you also get two fat quarters of fabric. You get it in green, and you get the cream, ivory, ivory, right? Plus your thread for 9 99 So that will make you one block of the month. Friendship star. There it is. That's what you can make with that. And that's where it fits in the finished quilt. Now, the thing is, we know that some of you... Oh, there's loads of people coming in. Now, I, I have to also warn you, we have put more stocking because last month it sold out within 10 minutes where people complained and everything like that. Um, some people won't want the friendship star in. They'll just want to put more of the others in. It's totally up to you, which is why we've only put enough fabric for one star in. If you then want to make a quilt with... 100 friendship stars you can still get that bundle and then use your fabric and things right so that's your friendship star for today this okay uh, i need to tell you right we're uh, less than a minute and 50 of 50 have been checked out straight away right there it is fat quarter of each of the colors plus the thread plus the instructions jane's instructions to make that 9.99 Gorgeous. Right, now, if you missed out on block one, don't worry, because this is block one. This is what we did last time. Now, obviously, there's more fabric here for the nine patch because you're doing all the cornerstones and you're doing the sashing in between all the blocks. So what you get in here, here we go, graphics coming in, three metres of fabric. So you, you get half a metre, I think, of the darker blue. One metre of your powder, I think it is. Copen, and one and a half of cream. Plus your thread, plus your instructions. You see what I mean? So at the end of it, you'll have um, one, nine, ten of these. You'll have ten of these at the end. Ten of these, if you buy one of all of them. But somehow it's going on for 12 months. I don't quite know how that works. There's 10 of them. So that's your nine patch one. This is your friendship star two. Now, let me just explain how it works. So we spend the first half of the show explaining half square triangles or the block of the month itself. Then the second half of the show, because we didn't want people... This is brilliant for beginners or you're just starting out or something like that. Other people who are more advanced were like, oh, I can do a friendship star, John. Thank you very much. In the second half of the show... We're going to show you how to make this. There it is, which is a friendship star plus. So that's, the, and we will have coloured bundles for you if you just want to make the whole of that. At the half past, we will be concentrating on you. So for the first half, friendship star, straight down the line, learning, beginners, whatever. Brilliant. Second half, that one. Right. 
month block two, I'm calling it French start, month block two. So this was one which doesn't have a number one in it. This is number two, which is your friendship star, month number two. So obviously, so that one there is friendship star, and that's what we're going to do now. Did I explain that all right? Yeah, very well. Oh, you can come in for another snob. Let's have another oh, cuddle. True. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, so, so just to explain, this is a, a, a sampler quilt that you have designed. Yes. What I wanted to do was I wanted to start from the very basics and build up the skill level. Yes. So we started with the nine patch blocks, which is used in the border and the corners. So when you get your instructions, you've got all this fabric and you think, well, I'm only making one block. Why have I got all this fabric? Well, it's because you're going to actually need to make 16 of these blocks. Right. It is explained in the instructions. And, that, and that's this bit here as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But what you're going to do for that first month is just make those blocks following the instructions and you can go back and look at the demonstration on the 10th of July. Yeah. Because when we come to do this bit here, we'll talk about that later on. And this oh, is why it goes... Oh, so, so you don't make that bit yet. No. Because that's This is why we go, we go into 12 months because month, ele month 11 is talking about how we can join the blocks together, make the border strips, join that together layer it up and the type of quilting we can do. Right. So we can talk about making the whole thing and quilting it or right. we can do quilt as you go. And what's number 12? And number 12 is then about finishing it. So we'll talk about binding techniques and again and go a little bit more into quilting oh, and stuff like that. Oh, fantastic. So month one were these each round the edge here, but you've got in that, but don't throw this, don't get rid of that fabric. Don't use it for anything else because you've got that fabric in there, haven't you? Yeah. So month one, you made these, 16 of them. Month two, you're going to make this. Month three, you're going to make one of the others. But as it's you say, the pinwheel block month three, because we, we're going to go, we're going to start. We started with basic squares. Now we're talking about half square triangles. Next oh. month we're going on to three quarter square triangles, then four and square so triangles. And so these, these will be month nine, yeah. eight, and nine or something. We're like gradually that. making the star more complex as we go through to develop our skill brilliant. level. Basically, oh, that's brilliant. Right. Okay. So friendship star block number two, green and cream or green and ivory. Yeah. Now I have done my, the bundle to match the blocks that I've designed. Yes. Obviously, if you've got fabric and you want to change it round, then that's entirely up to you. But the, the sampler block, we're keeping it as simple as possible and we're just doing it. And how big are the blocks? The blocks are 12 inch square. OK. So it's going to finish about 51 when it's finished. 51 so it's, square. It's, yeah, so it's a, a nice laps side mm -hmm. throw type quilt. Yeah. OK. So that's the basics. So you will have made, if you've been joining from the beginning, yep. and some of you haven't, so you'll get, if you're, if you're starting today and you get your blue bundle for your squares and look at the, the instruction sheet and look back on the 10th of July, you're going to make 16 of these. And that's going across the bottom of your screen. Oh, across the bottom of your screen now. That's why that one's 24 99 because it's enough to do 16 of those plus your sashing. Yeah, all that fabric's in there, but you're yeah. only, for, to start with, I'd only like you to make the 16 of the those. those. Okay. and put them to one side. But they're not a 12 inch block. No, through. these ones are finished at, well, they'll be finished at six. They come out about six and a half. Perfect. Okay. Got a question for you before we even start it. Okay. Hi, John and Jane. When will we get a photo of the finished quilt you are showing us in 12 months time, next July? Yes. Um, I'm going to try and get it done and, and made, but we had a little bit of a, a design issue to start with. So, we're just working on things. So, yeah. That's very discreet of you. <laughs> not, not pushing anyone under the bus. <laughs> See, I'd have said, oh, Rhea bought the wrong fabric. No, or she something. didn't. Don't say things like that. All no. right. Oh, Wendy bought the wrong no, fabric. No, nobody bought the wrong fabric. I don't fabric. know what it was. I don't know what the issue was, so I'm making it up. But. No, no. We just had, it, it was, because it's the first time we've ever done something like this, there were, we were looking at lots of different teething, ways of doing. Yeah, teething issues. Yeah, so. We're, we're getting there and, and each each month we're learning a bit more so so helen we will sort of, as soon as they know jane will make one and we'll show it to you yeah right but you can see from the diagram it's it won't look very much different from the diagram be a bit so, bigger well it will yes it'll be made yeah. of fabric not yes, paper that's right Apart. well it might be made of paper there it is but we're going to stick to those colors are we yes. the colors we're sticking those to. are the colors i'm going to stick as closely to that colorway as possible so you know, so it's you, all planes. We've do, well, we're going all yeah. planes. We're keeping it as simple as we can. Okay, perfect. Also, we're keeping it affordable because if, if you think it's only going to be nine ninety nine yes. a month, really, and, and you know, I am aiming it at beginners, so I don't want people to have to outlay lots and then think, well, actually, I'm not enjoying this. I don't want to do yes. anymore, and yeah. I bought all this fabric. Yeah. So 
we're working on it. We're finding different ways of doing things. So, so now, if, if people have got a stash at home, to make what, like maybe they looked at it and they went, I love that dear Jane's design and I'm going to do it each month, but I don't want green and cream. I want a pink star. Yeah. Right? They only need a fat quarter of each of the fabrics to yes, make, don't they? they? Do, yeah. And you don't have to, even though it's a sampler quilt, not all the backgrounds have to be, even though ours will be that colour, you don't have to, because you've got sashing in between, you could make your backings. You if could you've have got different two colours. fat quarters yeah, at home, could, yeah. or, or say different a, a fabrics. tumbler and a, and a cape or something, you can mix all of those as much yeah, as you want. Yeah, you can do what you like. Yeah. Do what you like. Do what Jane. you like. Right. Because that's the beauty of patchwork, you can. Where do we start? We start with half square triangles. Now, half square triangles are exactly what they say. They're half of a square. So two halves across the diagonal to recreate the square. They're one of the most versatile units in patchwork. Well, they're in every blooming quilt we do, yeah. aren't they? You can do all <coughs> sorts of things with half square triangles. You can do square within a square. Or economy. Yeah. You can do flying geese units that make chevrons. Oh, hang on, what was that you just did then? A chevron? No. Uh, yep. Yeah. Works like that. Or a fox's face. Yep. Yeah. You can do, um, that's another way of doing a square within a square, so diamonds. You can mix it so that it does that, like an arrow. Mm hmm. So you've got all sorts of things you can do with it. You can you can make it into a zigzaggy, a zigzaggy one. They're like flag geese. Now yeah. why aren't they called? Uh, are they called not called flag geese because there's a seam in the middle? I think so. Yes, I think. Oh, so you've gone different now. Yeah, you? you can do all sorts of things. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're quite a versatile block. Ghost in the machine. That was behind the set. <laughs> it's only, it's Lucy behind there. There's somebody behind the set. Anyway. Yeah, so. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, and pinwheels. See, you can also do that with it as well. Pinwheel block, that is. Okay. Right. Okay. So, for this block, we need four flying geese units and five squares. Right. We're working on a 12 inch block. We're doing a nine patch because mm -hmm. there's nine patches to the block. Oh, yes. So, so it's still called a nine patch even though they're. Yeah, they're half square triangles. triangles. It's a nine patch block because it's made up of nine units. Right. Um, so four inch finished. So your squares, you always add a half an inch to. And for, flat, for half square triangles, this is where it gets a little bit what? Whenever you make a half square triangle, whatever your finish size is, you add on seven eighths of an inch. Right. Now, so for some people, they, particularly if they're not into their inches, if they're metric, you know, from dressmakers or um, other people. Yeah. Younger people is what I'm trying to say. Younger um, people. Younger people. Say. From your fat quarter piece, you're going to cut a strip. So you've got your fat quarter and it will have one um, salvage piece on it, side to it, and then a cut side, mm -hmm. because it's a half metre piece cut in half. Yes. So to start with, line up, iron your fabric, and then line up your salvage edge with that cut edge. And we talked in July about finding the straighter grain of your fabric. So right. you do the same thing, but you just use your cut edge and your salvage. If you're new to us, you're thinking, oh, why, should, why, why, why 10th of July? Why? Uh, you can go to YouTube, go to YouTube, put in sewing quarter, put in 10th of July, and then you can look all five hours, just fast forward, just pull the arrow across to, or you can just click on it and it takes the second hour and you can watch, or third hour, third, third hour, hour. Uh, and you can watch Jane doing that show. Any show in the past that we mention, you can go to YouTube and see it. We've sort of Unless made... it's the one where Hannah swore on air and that one's not there. <laughs> we sort of tried to make it like a destination show so that it's always ten o on the 10th at 10 o'clock. Yeah. So people know that if they're watching the block of month, they I mean, can look back. You can't do marathons and though, because it'd be <laughs> every fourth one would be a Saturday or something, won't it? Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not doing, I can't do a marathon anyway. I oh, can't, you? No, oh. I can manage a 10K at a push. So I've trimmed the one side straight and I'm just flipping the fabric over. Now I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you trim on the left-hand side and, and then you flip it around. I do it this way because I like to have the majority of the fabric under my ruler when I'm cutting. Other people might use their mat and they do it other ways. But right. you know which way is comfortable for you and this is the way I teach. So right. this is what I do. <laughs> Seven eighths of an inch. On your ruler, your ruler is divided into inch squares 
and then it's subdivided into half inch marks and quarter inch marks which is a la larger mark and then the smaller dashed line is an eighth so what I always think is when I'm adding my seven eighths is I go to the next inch up so we want four and seven eighths so I'm going to look at five inches on my ruler yeah and then and knock bring, off an eighth and then bring it back just one eighth so that does my, it really make that much difference one eighth of an inch um if you use a an accurate quarter of an inch, yes. But what you can do, if you really feel that you're not confident enough to manage no, that... No, 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 I'm, no, I don't know. I think we need to teach yes. you do it at four and seven eighths, but I'm just thinking I can imagine me being at home going, oh, it's only an eighth of an inch, nobody will ever yeah, notice, but it it'll will. throw your it quilt. It will, if, because if you use the seven eighths and you use your accurate quarter of an inch, when they're pressed and opened up, they will be finished four and a half. Right. So they'll fit with your squares. Yeah. What you can do is you can cut them at five, Make them the same way as I'm going to make them now, and then when you've got the square, trim it down to right. four and a half. Okay. So if you're not confident of doing your quarter inch seam, maybe bigger is better and then trim down. Trim yeah. down, yeah. yeah. So lining that seven eighth mark up there, and I'm going to line the end folded edge up with one of the lines horizontal on the ruler, mm -hmm. and we make a cut a strip. We're going to need two. We want four half square triangles and this method you can make two lots in one go. I'm but we need four. But we need we need four, but we're going to cut two squares. Right. Because from one square you get two half square triangles. So what are you doing now? I'm just trimming the salvage off because we don't want the salvage in my square. So I'm lining the ruler up with that edge. Mm -hmm. on there. You can see I haven't got mine straight on the mat. It doesn't bother me, yeah. but if it bothers you, just straighten it on your mat first. I'm using the ruler, you see, to... Not the mat. Not the mat. Yeah. I'm just using the mat to cut with. I'm going to flip that round, and it's still folded in half, lining the straight edge up with the top of the edge there, and again, I'm on the five and seven eighths, four, sorry, four and seven eighths mm -hmm. mark there. So I've got two four and seven eighth inch squares right okay now you're going to do that with um your other squares you're going to need um one of the your green squares at four and a half because it's a square and you're going to do the same with your cream but you're also going to need your four four and a half inch so these are four and a half yeah inches yeah so it's all explained in the instructions and we've got Right, two so of these the same are four and a half because they're going to finish four. Yeah. These are four and seven eighths because when you've done the half square triangle, they'll come out at four. Yes. Finished four. Finished yeah. at four. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, I'm going to show you two things now because we've got a little gadget here that's, that's quite helpful. Mm -hmm. But um, on your background square, just mark across the diagonal. Now, I always mark from the middle outwards because we're going across the bias of the yeah. fabric. I don't want to stretch it, so I go from the middle out towards yeah. the edge. I'm using a friction pen because I'm going to cut on that line ultimately, yeah. so I'm not worried about that. I put them right sides together if they've got a pattern on. With right. the planes, it doesn't really matter. So, th 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 we say this all the time, so on a fabric like this, yes. it really doesn't matter which side of the fabric you no. use. No, there is a right and a wrong side and you'll be able to feel it. The right side is smoother than right. the wrong side. The wrong side's got a slight rough to fit. But what but happens if we make one noticeable. out of the wrong side and one out of the right side? I don't think it's going to notice. Okay. It hasn't got a nap to it. But so we, we, all, uh, we all say it, all the uh, experts say it, yeah. oh, it's got a claim to it, it really doesn't matter. But no. if, you're, if you're concerned about using the wrong side, just mark the wrong side with some yes, chalk or if something. You want and then to, you, yeah. you know they're all going to be the same side, yeah. Cotton doesn't have a nap to it, so it's not going to give it any no. sort of like shading no. or anything like that. So we should be all right. Now, I've got on here, Yes. I've got the um, the Kling Clearly Perfect, is it called Clearly Perfect triangle? It's called Clearly Perfect, perfect angles, angles New Leaf Fabric Alignment Key. So this comes in a bag like this, I'll show you. I won't take... It's a clear, it's, it's like... It's clear plastic, you peel it off. Yours, you'll peel off that background. I'm not it's got like that. a cling to it. It's not yes. sticky. No. It's like those window clings that we used to have that you used to put on to make like stained glass effect on your windows. Yeah, it of course, we all did that. Oh, we 
used to do it a lot in the 80s. I don't know where you were. I still do it. You were decorations. partying in clear mats, oh. I think. I lived in New York in the 80s. <laughs> you couldn't reach the, the... No. Oh, we did. We had, well, no, my, my first apartment in New York, I could see into about 400 other apartments. It was fantastic. Um, but that meant they could see into mine as well. So... Um, so hang on, hang on. So, so you stick it onto your yes. machine. Yes, now you've got um, a piece in the middle here that you have to cut out. It's all explained on the instructions there and it right. tells you where to line it up. This dashed line here lines up with the 5 8 mark on your machine Right, here. but it's all this in explained. It's all explained here, so. in the instructions and also they've got a very good website that you can go to and again it explains it all to you there. Because that better than your explaining it. Yes. It comes off and on, so you can get to your bobbin to oh, fill your oh, bobbin and everything. Oh, it just yeah. it just re repositions itself. Yeah. But what you've got is you've oh, got so it doesn't have to stay forever. You can no, take it off you can take it off to do other things. What you do need to have is an extension table on your machine. Right. So. Not just your gubbins box. No, yeah. it won't. It will flap over and, yeah. it, and it won't be as accurate. So. It's lined up there. I've cut out that middle bit, and it explains on the website how to do that and in the instructions. Yes. Um, with your unpick, so your feed dogs are clear, it's got a hole in it. Right. And what you do, you've got a grey area here, a B, mm -hmm. you've got a, an A with a green line and you've got a B with a grey line, and you've got a grey line here, and, and the thing is, whatever way you're going to do it, you match it up with the colour. Right. And we're doing quarter inch on the side, so yes. we're marking, we're lining it up with the grey. Right. So we take the square and we line it up. So you haven't got to line or anything on yours? I've so. got no drawn line. You line it up with the grey on here, right. where it says B. Yeah. And you line it up with the grey on here, where it says B. Are we going to show it, show it how to do it with for people who haven't got that as well? Yes. Oh yeah. Because we've got yeah. this. Yeah. Perfect. So we're lining the point of the square up with that line there. Mhm. Mm and you sew, and you just keep moving your your square up through your machine, keeping that point on that. B line there. When we finish, take it out, turn it round, and we line it up again. So you're lining the edge of the square, square. up with the markings on the sheet of yeah. where you want to be. On here, and then on this line here. How clever. So you haven't drawn any lines. I've not or drawn any on lines fabric. or anything, and I'm just sewing it. And of course, it stays on your machine. And if you want to do your um, half square triangles, you know, and you're joining your binding with your 45 degree, or you're doing your triangle with your flying geese, where you're just doing what would be down your marked line. Of course. You line it up with the A line. Can there. I just show it on here? Because we couldn't, yes. couldn't see it totally on there. So if you get your, your if two I show, squares. If I show you on here. All right, then, just on your show. You've got the squares there. You're moving it up the machine. So your machine... Um, feet the presser foot is here yes and you trim that bit away to release so your feed dogs can yes. release through this gray line here you line the point of your square up with that gray line right. which is the b yeah. and the b here so when you sew you're sewing down there right and you turn it around and you line it up again with exactly the same one the gray one again the gray line this side of the gray line yeah if I wanted to sew right down the middle, you just, oh, I'd be lining it yes, up with because some of them you the do edge. just do down the middle, yeah, don't you? And then what's this side then? What's the green one? Well, this green one is, um, oh, what did they say? I can't remember what they said now, but it's it's the middle line for you, directly down the middle of okay. your... It's got it here. Stitching point to point is A and stitching quarter an inch from the points is B. So right. you know... That's line A and that's B. Okay. I think they just coloured it green so that you know that you line it up with the green. With the green on there. Got on it. there. Yeah. So All right, it's, thank it's you. a handy little gadget yeah, to have. Yeah, it's very handy. But this method... Right, if you don't want to get that or you're thinking you want to outlay on that just yet, you yeah. can do it without that if you want to. So I'm moving my... I'll take this off now because it just comes off. It's, it's literally like a cling. Your needle down. Take the needle out of the way. Yeah, you've got your job. Okay, so if you don't have one of those, you draw a line down through the diagonal. Yeah. Now of I can, squares. on my machine, I can move my needle across to quarter of an inch. Right. Some people can't. If yeah. you can't, mark a quarter of an inch either side of that yes. line. Yeah. So you'd mark a line this side, and you turn your rule, turn the square round, and you'd mark a line. Quarter of an inch either side. Quarter of an inch first either side of that line, and you would sew. 
on these two lines yeah. here. So you're doing exactly the same as that ruler's done. Yeah. You're sewing quarter inch, quarter inch either side that yeah. central line. If you can move your foot across, uh, your needle across, then you will line the edge of your foot up with this line right. here, which is what I. What or I'm just follow the, just follow the two outside lines. Yes, if you've yeah. drawn them, but if you've got that quarter of an inch facility yeah. on your machine. Because not everybody has the has a machine that the needle moves. No, exactly, that's what I was thinking. My or, old Nina wouldn't have done so. And the thing is, with this method, if you've got a quarter of an inch foot, it's got a bar that comes down and it doesn't always like going through the middle of solid fabric. So your quarter of an inch foot... Oh, yeah, that's one for... Egg, if it's got, got the, the guide edge. on it, yeah. isn't always... Um, the easiest one to use. So you then cut on that drawn line through the middle of the diagonal. And on this one, you'll just measure quarter of an inch in from one of the seamed lines or line it up with the points on the, on the square. So that gives you now four half square triangles. Which is what you need. Which is what you need. Now, when you press them, I would recommend that you press the seam underneath the green that way, mm -hmm. just so that it doesn't show through. Yeah. So when you're pressing, have the green facing upwards so that you can just push that away. Yeah, okay. but be careful. Yeah, because you're on a biased edge, so you really are pressing it, not ironing it, because you'll pull it and yeah. distort it. We've got a little gadget here. Oh, yes, another gadget. This is what it looks like. When you press that away, you're going to have your dog ears here. Yeah. Which can get sorry, in... You, sorry, show that first of all. Which can get in the way when you're... The dog ears there. ...sewing and add bulk to your seams. Yeah. So there's a, the clear... The, the slotted trimmer. You can use it to cut your triangles in the first place, but you can also use it just to trim off your... Um, ears. And oh, oh, I see. Hang on. So look. These got the little grooves in, like yeah. the, the um, stripology type ruler. So you're lining up here. You've got, I know that I want these finished at four and a half. Mm. I want them four and a half inch squared, which is finished at four. Yeah. So I'm lining that seam line up with that dotted line where it says four and a half. Yeah. You've got half inch ones on one ruler and just non inch. Uh, non inch. So, so if. <laughs> Solid inch. Solid inches. So if you want your square finished at three and a half, yeah. you know. There's a strange name we use in the show. When you do shoes, you don't say half sizes. You say something else. Like So, you know, shoes go three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight. If they do half sizes, it's a funny... I can't remember what it is now. I say so you're just putting your rotary cutter in that Is that slot all you're doing? Right? And just slotting through there and through there. So it cuts off those triangle bits there. So you do it before you go to press. Uh, and then when you press it, you've got your perfect square. 32 99 there. You get two rulers, 11 different sizes, from one and a half inches to six and a half inches. It's also got some ideas on the back, some instructions on the back, and it's, it shows you how to do it with strips. So if you put two strips together, you can cut them all in one go. So you can do your half square triangles that way as well. Brilliant. Uh, right, message from customer. What cutting mat is Jane using? Why did she choose that one? Um, did you choose it or did we give it to you? No, it was the one that Lucy put on the right, table. Okay, I can tell you what it is. It's a June Taylor cutting mat. They have special um, um, inventors or developers who develop things. So this is a... When you look at it, right, it doesn't look... It's very, very fine <coughs> and it's quite coarse. What it is, is most of our cutting mats are self-healing cutting mats. This isn't a self-healing cutting mat, simply because it doesn't cut the board. It they've developed it so your rotary cutter only cuts the fabric, which means your blades will last longer and your board lasts much longer as well because it doesn't cut through. It also has a slightly, um, uh, I don't want to say grainy, but it's, it's got like a, a rough. It's, it's not smooth. Like, yeah, so, so first of all, it doesn't slip. And secondly, these are exact inches. Now, we all say on a rough cutting board, always beware of using the inches. These inches should not change size at all. And also, the numbers are on the outside. So if you line this up, your numbers are on the outside. They're not hidden underneath your block when you're squaring off and things like that. £29.99. Okay. 
All right, the other tools that Jane's using, very quickly, because what time is it? 10 question. The rotary cutter that Jane's using, sorry, Jane. Okay. I'm going to do this. Okay, you can change it to left handed or right handed. It's got a lock on it there, so you can lock the blade in and lock the blade so it doesn't come out. What's good about this one is the blade only comes out when you push the lever. So if you do drop it, the blade won't work. You know what I mean? The, the, the blade bumps on. £24.99. Okay. Friendship star. Right. I just need to make sure, because you're going to make, again, it's a nine patch, so we're making it in blocks of three in a row. Yeah. And then we've got the coloured square in the middle and the triangles either side. Now, you just have to check the orientation of your triangles because the middle row needs to go in opposite directions, but you don't want it to go to form a line like that. Oh, yeah, no. Because that gives that make you... That makes you stripe. Well, that gives you a different block altogether. Yeah. Okay, so although they're going in opposite it's quite directions, pretty, that block. it is. It's Has not it got a name. Um, I think it's part of Jacob's ladder. Oh, that's right. I knew it name before. So we're then going to sew them together in threes, yeah. and then sew the three rows together. Okay. While you're sewing that, I'll also tell you about the ruler that Jane's been using, which is this one: Creative Grids, twelve and a half by six. Is it? Six and a half, seventeen ninety nine, non-slip, creative grids from Rachel the Ruler. These are all the tools that Jane's using here. And I've done the cutting wraps, that's fine. So I've done all that Jane's using. I've got another starter kit coming up later if you're um, counting the pennies, which is a fantastic buy. I've just joined those pairs. I'm going to oh, get... oh, oh, oh. Jane loves, loves this. this. It's just so clever. Your chain Ooh. piecing, we didn't see that. So have you got another one to do? I'll do the, when I do the okay. next row, I'll do it again. So just pop it back into the space just to make sure that you have got them all in the right direction. Just to make sure that you are still where you should be because it okay. would be easy to put it that way yeah, around. Not so when you've just got two colours, but sometimes when you're working with yeah. more than two. Right, what Jane means by chain piecing, if you're new to it, is? You just carry on um, sewing. So I'm going to do this seam on the first row. And then I'm not going to cut my thread, I'm just going to carry on sewing. So what I can do is I can lift my foot and pull the, the sewing out of the way. Or I can just carry on, just leaving a bit of a gap. Carry on with As you. As you get used to chain piecing, you'll find your own way of, of doing it. Got mine. Can't wait to get started, says Trev in Orpington. All right, Ooh, Trev. Lovely. It's nice to have some gentlemen sewers on, isn't it? Yeah. Met a few at the Festival of Quilts. That was nice. Did Pe you meet the fireman? No, I didn't meet. I missed that, mind you. I've got my own fireman. I don't need another one. Is he a fireman? Retained, yeah. Knows a fireman. Yeah, the retained firefighter. Look, she's all smacking. <laughs> Got me open. Right, okay, so that's called chain piece when they're all together. So they're all joined together now, like bunting. Yeah. So with this little lovely gadget. Exclusive to same quarter. It's got a little blade in it there that's yeah. tucked away and out of the way, so it, you know you can't cut yourself on it. Yeah. And then you just pop that through, and it cuts your thread. Graphics coming in. So it's really. Jane handy. loves that. Every time she does a show, she says, "Can I have the crap? Can I have it? Can I have it? Ten, nine, ten. It keeps selling out though." Last time we had that on, we didn't I'm have... I'm keeping a... this one. I'm going to put this in my trolley. Oh, you do. <laughs> 10 99 So, right. when we come to pressing this one... What time is it? Oh, yeah, but I can move on. I'm going to press those seams in towards the middle. Right. So, I'm pressing towards the block, the, the, the solid square, really. Yeah. Those ones into the middle. And these ones, I'm going to press out towards the... the so, that means you're cream. not following your pressing to the dark side no. on that one. You just do... And this is because it does help when you're coming to join your rows together. Right. Because you will, I'm just going to make sure I put these in the right yeah. orientation, because it would be easy to flip that round. When you come to join the row together, you can nestle the seams here and here, so right. that they line up nicely and you get nice joins in your square, no gaps. Just so you don't get 17 minutes left. Mm. Is that right? Yeah, 17 minutes left. 
There's never. I, I swear that the time is a different. It's a different time zone in this time studio. Time is just a what do you always say, Paul? Time is just a concept. Concept. Yeah. Apparently. I've heard. But it's that. not. It's an hour, sixty minutes. We yes. have to fill it, fit, it, fit everything. Fit in. in everything in. Yeah, the show is. Oh, slightly there. If you can hear Hannah at home, I do apologise. She's shouting at me to say faster. No, she's <laughs> saying she sometimes gets confused between minutes in an hour and pennies in a pound, and she thinks there's 60 pennies in a pound. Oh, right. And this is the woman who's in charge. <laughs> when at the weekends, if there's no management in, Hannah is in, in charge. charge. She's, yeah, she thinks the pound now is cheaper than the 910p shop. But also, she's in charge of health and safety and the fire alarm today. And first aid, isn't she? Oh, well, that's all about first aid, Jen. But she's our first aider. Did you go on the first aid course? Mm -hmm. She loved it. She quite fancied the man there. He was a partner with all the time. Kept saying, going to, going to pairs. And he kept running away. Didn't he, Han? Oh. Nobody, oh, nobody wanted to be her pair, so she had to go with the instructor the whole time. So there we are. There's your friendship star. Fantastic. Okay. Right, so Hannah, shall I recap this and then try to explain what we're doing about this? Right, so that is your basic block, part two. Uh, but if you're more advanced, we're going to show you bundles now, how you can make this, which is a friendship star plus. So $9.99 will get you this. $9.99 will get you the block of the month. You get two fat quarters. Green fat quarter and cream fat quarter, instructions and thread to make one of those blocks. $9.99. A lot of people say, thank you, Jane. That was very, very good. Anne says, have completed the first block. Great exercise. Go back to basics. Thank you both for an enjoyable show. And in Bournemouth. Oh, I love it in Bournemouth. Right now, also, Anne, did you get this then from last month? This was your nine patch. The reason there's so much fabric in here is that you're doing the nine patch um, cornerstones plus the sashing. Don't make the sashing yet, only make the 16 cornerstones. And in that, you've got four metres of fabric, you get half a metre of copen, uh, one metre of powder, and one and a half of your cream ivory, uh, plus your thread, plus your instructions. There you go. That's that. Now, have a look at this quilt again very quickly. Outside the block of the month, we also do something for advanced people. So that's this one, right? It's, it's still a friendship style with a bit extra. We've got three different colourways for you to choose from. In each one you do get the instructions. So this is a completely separate entity, as it were, but using this month's block of the month. Ribbon, star, quilt. Colour-wise, let's start with the one that Jane made first, which is this one. So now to make that quilt, which is £31.99 pence, 36 inches by 68, I think that says. Does that say that? I haven't got my... Oh, my glasses are here. Yes, 36 by 48. 36 by 48, sorry. 36 by 48. Cool, I'll make a nice baby. Yep, put your baby down on. We can make one for Jay. Anyway, how much fabric do you get? Sorry, three metres of fabric. So you get half a metre of your mint, half a metre of your white, one metre of your lemon, one metre of your lavender. Plus your thread. For some reason, you've got dark green thread with that one. Did you put that dark green thread in, Jane? Yes, there's a story. Oh, there's a story. Well, let me do the bundles and we'll get, we'll get the story in a minute. Can't wait for that one. Second block, uh, bun bundle, is which one, sorry? Pink one. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. I like this one. So you get half a metre of your white, half a metre of your kind of fuchsia, uh, one metre of your pink, one metre of your magenta. I'm guessing the colours, but you are getting those colours. They're lovely. Oh, that's my favourite. And that is £31.99. And, and you get a puce thread with that one. Puce, I'd say that colour was. And then last but not least... Oh, yes, you have to do the front and the binding. Obviously, you have to do your own backing. Half a metre of your paler blue, half a metre of your white, one of your green, one of your kingfishery turquoise. Uh, and then this one, you get a pastel thread with this one, Jane. £31.99. No, I'm not picking on her. Well, I am. Right. So it's called Ribbon Star Quilt, Jane. Yes. It's because it's the Friendship Star block. Oh. But we add... 
<laughs> I don't know why I put that there. Right. In for me, that's what they say, don't they? We've all got it in for me. Um, it's the friendship star block, but we're adding more half square triangles to it. Right. So instead of the plain corner squares, we're adding um, oh, it's nice, more half square one. triangles. Right. And that's what gives the ribbon effect. My is it look like lattice ribbon? Is that yes, it's supposed to, to look like it's woven through the star. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounded wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, it does, it does, it does, it does. Yeah. So, it's very similar right. to the friendship star, except you're making more half square triangles. Okay. And some different ones as well. Yeah, so you're going to make some that are your pale and your star colour. Yes. You can choose which one you want. Right, hang on. So, so in, that, in that bundle, you yeah. get, we get half a metre of the white, so that's obviously your, always your background. Yes. You get half a metre of the, that pinky one, yes. which is your star in the middle. Yes. But then these get a metre of each of those. Yes, because you use slightly more. You will have some left over, and, right. you'll, and you'll want to choose one of those two for your binding. Okay, perfect. Okay, we've got eight minutes, got plenty of time. Um, and then what's the story behind the threads then? Well... On my chart, we have a chart with the thread numbers on, yeah. and it corresponds with the colour of the fabric. So right. it's very carefully done, but mine was a photocopied of a photocopy. And originally, that number, it's, it's a, when you're ordering the SKU, it's got like four letters and two numbers. Yeah. And the number had been crossed out on the original, but on my photocopy, it um. hadn't come through because mine was a photocopy of a photocopy. So that colour thread, I thought I was ordering cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's the same letters, but different, different number at numbers. the end. Okay. But it could look quite nice, dark green top yes. stitching on it. It will look lovely. Right. Okay. So we're making. We're making. So you've got, you'll need two of the white and pink. Pa pale pink on yeah. this one, on yeah. the other one. Um, so one background square and one, because that makes two whole square yeah. triangles. And then you'll want the same with the darker colour. Yes. So one of each of those. So you just need two white background squares. Yes. And you'll need two of this colour and two of that colour. Yeah. And two of that colour. And then but and one then square one for one your middle. One. Yeah. So you'll join, you'll do the half square triangle um, method, whichever one you choose, and you'll do one with the, the pale and the, the background and one with the darker colour and the background. Mm. And then you'll do one with the dark colour and the star colour and one with the pale okay. and the dark. So what you've got here uh, on the graphics is the pink one in the big graphics is the one we're working with, with Jane. And then the pastel one is the one that's on the, been on the wall that you've seen is behind us, just so you know. Right. Okay. Yep. So this one, you just have to think about your fabric placement because you want the star effect. But Are they all exactly the same, the blocks, or just you have to change Yes, you them? make them exactly the same. Right. And in fact, the top and the bottom row are the same. It's just that you turn them round. Right. So you will sew. That's not right. Thank you. You will sew the. Um, what you're looking for is this colour to go in a strip, and that colour to go in a strip, and that one, and that yeah. one in a strip. And, star, yeah. and your star still in the middle there. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly the same way as we did the other one, joining those into rows mm -hmm. and then the rows into three. Right. And what happens is when you sew them together, they're all made in the same Ooh, yeah. in the same orientation. So when you sew them together, you'll sew three together in rows. Yes, three blocks, and then you make four rows. So you'd but, you, you, but so you make them exactly the same and sew them together. together in the same way. And is this row exactly the same way as well? Um, no, you start with the other. Yeah, no, that's the same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because that's the top Yes, because row. it carries. So this you just blocks have white upside thing, down. Yes, you're making a that white blocks upside down. That's what it is. So it will go like that. So that row then yes, follows yes, yes. through. And then this one would start with the white. Oh. If we turn, we can't do it, can we, that way? No, we can't, but we could turn it. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 
They've done it deliberately to stop you leaning on the table. Yes, I think they have. So you can see there by the four blocks I've put together, it's just that you make sure that your block is going in the same direction. It doesn't matter which direction it's going in as long as once you start, they all go the same way and you make all the rows the same and you join them exactly the same way. All right. What would happen if you put this if you one, put one the other way round? It doesn't continue the star shape, the ribbon. But effect. you keep the star, but the ribbon changes it's colour. colour. Oh, yeah, no, no. it goes two-tone. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That would be me like me putting that like that, you see. Yeah, no. It, it just, you no. don't get the effect. You no. don't get the woven effect. No. So it is important to keep them all going the same way. <laughs> That's not it's right. It's like jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? That's wrong. Yeah, that's right. What goes there, though? No, that's. No, hang on. I need. To, uh, we need a pink triangle with with um. Two the two tone one here. That's it. That's it. And that one goes that way. And that one goes that way. Is that right? No. no. That one goes that way. That's it. That's it. So you can. So it see. looks like your purple ribbon is going round, looping round like that, that. and you pink one weaves through that way so it's weaving through We've got four minutes we're going to put that one together um i wanted to show oh, another, yeah, go, go, go. another another hack oh because you know i did me. you know i did the disappearing nine patch yes with the other one are we doing disappearing ribbon pack ribbon. well no it's it's a completely different bo block but it's using half square triangles i'm right. just going to join these two together i wanted to do it with bigger bigger triangles but i didn't quite get time to to prep it oh you've been here all morning i know I think I was doing nothing, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, you weren't really. <laughs> and you've been in all week. So you made again half square triangles. Yes. These are the ones I made earlier. And I've joined these together now into a pinwheel. Right. Oh, so got the iron on. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just press. Do you want the board? Oh, yeah, we'll just press that so we've got it nice and flat. So I've made a pinwheel block there. So this is something else that you can do with your half square triangles. If you don't want to do either of those blocks, but you think, oh, I quite fancy having a go at making... Have we not got a pinwheel one coming up in the block later? Um, slightly var slight variation. Oh, okay. And it's using three, three triangle units. So um, it looks slightly different. So you've got your um, block there. Now this is eight and a half. You would want to make it so that it's divisible by three. So you would either want to make it finished at six, nine, or 12, or 15, because you're going to divide this now into three. Oh. And how big's that one? It's eight and a half. Oh, that's not going to be difficult no, then at all, is it? I'm going to pretend. It's a little bit less than three. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend that it's um, a three, but take some off the side. So you will. You will divide your, if, it's, if it was a nine inch, I would be cutting it into three, three inches. But the sides would be, because it would be nine and a half, so the sides would be, so I would take that to um, three and a quarter. But just divide it equally into three. This is where your rotating cutting mat comes in handy as well. So you oh, take you it back. Nice one of those. No, I forgot. Oops. So equally into three, I'm just guessing, guesstimating with mine because it doesn't match. So into three that way. We'll take your cutting mat we'll round. Take your cutting mat <clears throat> and then cut it exactly the same measurements the other way. So you cut it into nine <coughs> patch. Nine, nine patch. You then take these squares and you rotate them so that the lighter colour goes into the middle. And then you take these side squares and you rotate them so the lighter one goes into the middle. And you've got... What have you got? A churn... Turn, a churn down. Oh, block. yes! This isn't quite working because it's not square, but... Yeah. And you've got seam allowances to come out of that. 
How brilliant. But that makes, you can turn it round the other way if you wanted to. You could have the green, the colour going in to the middle, but it makes a pinwheel turn dash block. Yeah, that's better. How brilliant. So that's Jane, just another so hack on half square triangles. So you've got half square triangles, you put, you put, you put them together in a pinwheel, yep. cut it into three, across, three equal shares across, three equal shares down, and then just turn them around. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, you're not meant to be back in till a while, but you're coming back after the break, aren't you? Yes. Only because we're doing threads after the break. And uh, Jane loves orophil, so we'll do an orophil first after the break. But before I go, I'll just do a recap of all the bundles for you. Right. Where shall I start? This week's Friendship Star block is this one under here. You get two fat quarters, a fat quarter of green and a fat quarter of ivory. My lace has come undone, I've just trodden it, it's all come out. Plus your instructions and your thread. £9.99, £9.99 for that one. That's that one. There'll be another one back on the 10th of September. Frightening. 10th of October, I won't be able to do 10th of October on my holiday, Sam. Right, then la last month, on the 10th of July, we did the nine patch, but the reason there's more fabric in this is because it's enough to make nine or 16 nine patches plus your sashing. Only make the nine patches, don't do any sashing. In this one, you get three metres of fabric, half a metre of your copen, one metre of your powder, one and a half of your ivory, plus your instructions, plus your thread. That was that one. And then today, the three variations that we had were these three here. Pastel, which is the one on the wall, which you've been seeing all day. These are not for the block a month. This is just another project that you might like to do. So what you get here in the pastel colours to make that one um, is uh, three metres in total, half a metre of your mint, half a metre of your white, one of your lemon, one of your lavender, plus your thread, plus your instructions. There's your still. Then we've got the pink one. You get the thread, the instructions, half a metre of white, half a metre of the darker pink. You then get a metre of the paler pink and a metre of the magenta. You get the instructions and the thread. £31.99. And, and then last but not least, the red... No, there's no red. There's no red <laughs> Blue, white and green. Don't ask me where the red came from. Half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the white, one metre of the bright green, one metre of the turquoise, plus your thread, plus your uh, instructions, £31.99. Now, remember earlier I told you that um, we'd got all the tools that Jane had used. I've also got this amazing starter kit. Now, if you go somewhere else to a very famous uh, sewing website, this is for sale, exactly this exact kit, $34.99. Not ours, and we've sold thousands of these, thousands. Right, what you get is you get the cutting mat, A2, you get the ruler, and you get the rotary cutter, $19.99. So if you're just starting off and you don't want to splash out too much money, $19.99. Oh, that's nice. Jean in North Yorkshire says, I've tried quilting so many times, made a mess. Jane explains it so well. Doesn't she? Do you tell her that? She's coming back on, Jean, I'll tell her. Because um, she gets all, oh, I'm no good at this, I'm no good at this. Good morning, Jane and John. Thank you so much for starting with the basics. She's self-taught. Uh, tips and techniques are most appreciated. That's from Carol. Thank you, Carol. 1999. Right, don't go anywhere. It's me with threads after the break, but uh, Jane is going to come on to start with. Not that she doesn't like the other threads, but she's got to get home, hasn't she, to, uh, Glenn? Uh, but she's going to come on and do Orophil with me. See you in three from now. <laughs> <laughs> 